What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to episode number 30 of the Ultimate FIFA series. Today guys, we are using that team that I just did a squad builder on, the Team of the Week team. We've got three Team of the Week players into the Gold Cup, guys. Just to show you though, the St. Patrick's Cup is coming, guys. The St. Patrick's Cup is coming. It doesn't give huge bonuses, a, a gold pack, of course, and a few thousand coins, or maybe that's 1,500 coins. Um, and it means that come Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, as of tomorrow, pretty much, the Irish player's worth is going to just hugely rise, and it already started to. So if you guys want to get Irish players now, um, I recommend them. If you're going to be entering that t tournament, I recommend you get your players right now because they are going to be going for a bomb for the next three days, and then their price will plummet come pretty much Sunday evening. So the first game we've got today, guys, come up against a team with a, a BPL, a guy with a BPL team, only 75 chemistry, but he's got Inform Miku, Inform Pinar, and uh, Torres up front as well, which was a pretty interesting team. It's a pretty decent team, and I get lucky with a rebound there and score a goal with Jao Moutinho. But for those of you that have been with me for a long time, you might remember my Giovanni goal from 2011, or FIFA 11 anyway, and uh, it was an advanced rainbow flick and an incredible finish. Well, I've scored a goal in FIFA 13 that pretty much rivals that. Varela here, advanced rainbow flick, hits it on the volley, Boom. What a fucking goal. Varela scoring an absolutely insane goal. I can't believe it went in. I actually screamed like a little girl when it hit the back of the net. And uh, yeah, it was uh, an insane goal. Just really, really happy with it. Really delighted. Uh, Varela is one of my favorite players in FIFA 13. Anyway, um, in the, uh, the uh, Liga Portuguesa team that I have him in, um, he's always proven very good for me. And he scores another great goal there. A rainbow flick to a volley. Varela in the 45th minute scoring a fantastic goal. So uh, very happy with the way this team has been performing instantly. Like It's a 4-5-1 formation. I'm not overly keen on the formation. I haven't used it too much because every time I have used it, I feel like the centre midfielder in the formation gets completely lost in the game and it feels like you're playing with a man short, uh, which I don't like. But um, that's that's kind of how it is. That's how I had to build this formation for this team. But guys, the guy rage quits at 3-0 down, moving us into the quarterfinals. He didn't even have a shot. Uh, was 3-0 down you know, after 45 minutes and then the next game we come up against this guy he's got a very very strong uh, Serie A team El Shirawi, Maggio and Cavani up front um, then Schneider and Guarin in the midfield with I, I'm not even going to try and guess who that centre midfielder is because I don't know it's either Nosserino or who's the other s Italian? Juventus Marchisio yeah, there you go. So it's Marquisio. Um, it's probably not either of them either. It's probably some other guy to look at. <laughs> um, so yeah, this guy takes a very early lead. Takes a 2-0 lead as well. Two near post shots there. I can't believe Guarin outpaced my... Um, I, can't, I can't even remember who he was running up against. But yeah, uh, El Sh yeah, El Shirawi there with a penalty scoring to make it 3-0. And I thought, ah, damn, this is going to be one of them games. But in the 30th minute here, Ibarbo breaks down the, the right wing, sends it to Muriel, who passes it through to Varela, who gets his third goal in two games and gives us a slight bit of hope in this game. And a few minutes later, again, Hugo Viana there passes it through to Varela to get his fourth goal in two games. Varela with another tap-in for this game. Puts us 3-2 up and then almost instantly after that in the 42nd minute here, the ball goes all the way through to Muriel. Really, really bad defending. Really bad EA defending. I don't think it's the guy's fault there. That's the sort of thing that I would get annoyed at if it were me because he didn't deserve to concede that goal. Uh, some poor defending from me there. I got in front with uh, Contral and instead of just clearing it, I tried to keep possession of the ball and ended up losing it again. And uh, I fell apart again pretty much. Cavani here, another OP shot, another near post. Oh no, sorry, a cutback, not an OP shot. Cut back to El Shirawi to make it 5-3. Uh, but we came back once already and look at this for a goal from Muriel. Slams it home. It makes it 5-4 in the 86th minute. We've got a little bit of hope left in this game. And in the 90th minute, we break through on goal. Hugo Viana running down the left. Puts it through to inform Ibarbo who smashes it wide. And it's so frustrating that, you know, 90th minute could have leveled it up and gone into extra time. But unfortunately, Ibarbo puts it wide, leaving us out of this tournament. We lost 5-4. Very, very, uh, very even game. You know, very, very even in possession, passing, shots, shots on target. It could have gone either way. Quite surprised that there was nine goals considering the amount of shots on target. And in the third game of this episode, guys, we come up against a guy with an Irish team. So he's obviously getting his Irish team in early because he knows his players are going to be worth a fair amount of coinage over the next few days. But he's got a lot of bronze players and only one gold player with Shea given. So quite surprised with this team and thought, yeah, this is going to be a relatively easy game for me. And that's exactly what it was. You know, I, I'm... 
obviously good enough at FIFA to be able to beat bronze teams and apart from that bronze team that beat me a few episodes ago and uh, <laughs> Ibarbo there breaks through with his great pace you know the 92 pace is very effective goes through I do give away a corner though and can see the goal to a header in the 34th minute there to Kyo um, to make this game 1-1 but in the second half I stopped playing around I was actually trying to score nice goals or skill goals or whatever in, in the first half stopped playing around in the second half just wanted to get that win and the right back there Torres Cedis picking up a great finish with his left foot to make it 2-1 and then Ibarbo here again steps past the defender a nice fake shot to step inside get really lucky with the tackle but drills it home if he only could have done that sort of finish in the 90th minute of the first game there this might have been a different story we might not have even been playing this game but look at his pace again in the 76th minute guys so much pace steps inside shoots deflects Fabio Cohen throw so far up the field for whatever reason scores a goal to make it 4-1 and that is how the game finished guys so we're into the uh, into the quarterfinal again with this team you'll see more gameplay from this team tomorrow if you did enjoy this episode guys be sure to leave a like rating comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as always thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time cheers